Hi everybody and welcome back to a brand new video. Today we are doing the birthday edition P.O. Box opening video, which as you can see we have a few items behind us. We have some here on the floor in front of us and we're just gonna unbox them, read your letters. Both of us wanna thank you all for sending these amazing, lovely items and letters. It is so thoughtful and every time we do one of these videos we're just so blown away. So... That is the truth. It is. It's just, oh my gosh, we love you so much and are so we, thankful. We get comments from a lot that say, I wish I could send you something or um, along those lines. And uh, please don't feel bad. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just comment below and say hi or something like that. Yeah. And that'll, uh, That's very perfect. Happy. Yeah, that we love that. So let's get started with this video. Grab yourself some coffee, some tea, grab your snacks some water. because this is going to be a longer video. I think we're going to start by moving some of this stuff down in front of us on the floor carefully. Hold on. <laughs> the first card comes to us from Paige in, what's H-I? Hawaii. Hawaii? Oh my goodness, how amazing. So we're going to start here. Thank you, Paige. So we'll start by reading the card. This is what it looks like. Love it. Very spooky. On Halloween, all things enchanted come together to create one night full of magic. Love that. It's the perfect time to celebrate amazing people like you. Hi, Mindy, Larry, Lexi, Kitty, and Luna Kitty, and the whole fam. Hope you have a wonderful and festive Halloween. Gifts, Mindy Necklace, Larry, Challenge Coin. I was stationed at Joint Base Pearl Harbor. Is it Hickam? Hickam? Hickam. While in the Navy, I felt that you would appreciate this coin. Sincerely, Absolutely. Paige. Paige, thank you so much for your service as well. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. So I here... I'm honored. Yeah, here is the coin for Larry. I've actually been to Pearl Harbor. I have never been. Really want to go. Have not yet made it there. <gasps> this necklace reminds me of Hawaii 100%. Gorgeous gold flower. I have been on that memorial. Please read off camera. Paige, I will save these. Can read on camera if you'd like. This one I will save. Hi, Mindy, Larry, Lexi, Kitty, Luna, Kitty, the rest of the sweet family. I want to reiterate how much I enjoy comforting and peaceful videos to show you my appreciation with a few gifts. Hope you like them. Sending love with Aloha, Paige. Thank you, Thank you so Paige. much, Paige. I think, guys, I'm going to lower this so you guys can see what we have in hand because right now where I'm holding things, you guys can't see a thing. So I'm going to move this forward a little bit so it's going to be a little bit different and I'm going to angle it a little bit further down. Don't you agree with that? Yeah. Yeah. Package next. Package next. Uh, this is from Teresa in Florida. Hi, Teresa. Florida. That's right down the street. Florida. It would take much more than one day to truly tell you all the things that make you special. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, a giraffe. Look at that. Oh, love it. Um, but for now, on your birthday, I hope you feel just how much you mean and how very special you are. Have a great day. Love, Teresa. Mindy, you bring so much kindness and joy to so many people. I hope your birthday is as special as you are. Sending you lots of hugs and love. Love, Teresa from Florida. P.S. I have enclosed a pic of a giraffe I have in my courtyard. Her name is Rose. How cute is Rose? I love that. Thank you so much, Teresa. If it fits, it sits. You would not fit in that. I brought my coffee over there. That's a freaking crime. I can see it. You want to play with the string? No, it's attached. We can't. <laughs> if Matilda was here, she could just... Speaking of Matilda, watching that today on what channel? Freeform? Freeform, yeah. The 31 Days of Halloween. I discovered, without knowing, that the scary teacher in Matilda is actually Aunt Marge in Harry Potter. That was mind-blowing. Yes. I was like, what the heck? I, that, the, the resemblance, I don't even see it. That's what's crazy. I told her I haven't been that mind blown since we found out that Sirius Black is in the Batman movies as, mm -hmm. was he Commissioner Gordon? Commissioner Gordon. Yeah. Here we go. Oh, how precious is this? this is Rose has a friend. So <laughs> cute. So adorable. I love it. I love how yellow it is. The little giraffes are yellow. They look like August giraffes, like fall giraffes, or even summer giraffes. <laughs> They're so cute. August isn't in the fall. August, August is basically fall. No, it's not. 
thank you so much, Teresa. I love this. Let me know in the comments below if you guys think August is fall or if you're on Larry's side. I mean, technically, it's not, is it? Well, the end of August is. Isn't it? Isn't the first day of fall at the end of August? No. It isn't? Yes, it is. Bah humbug. You're full of it. Fall starts in August. We're about to ask the internet. I think you're wrong. Well, if it's on the internet, it must be true. Dang right. Hey, Siri. Mm -hmm. <laughs> when is the first day of fall? Fall began the 22nd of September and ends the 20th of Don't. December. I forgot there was September. I thought August. <laughs> yeah, that, that ninth month in between August and October <laughs> is kind of a forgetful. Dang it. I kind of really did forget there was a September. I went from August to October. You know, it's because I like to merge my holidays. You know what? Please forgive me. No, it's funny. Oh, man. Okay, so this next card is Royal Mail to Mindy. We do not have a name on the outside. <gasps> Kitty, crazy cat lady starter kit. Yay. <laughs> I love that. It says catitude. <laughs> yeah, it does. Hi, Mindy. I saw this card and I immediately thought of you. Happy birthday. Sending love from your friend across the sea. Kenzie. P.S. A Hogwarts letter is also coming your way. Ooh. Thank you so much, Kenzie. I do love this card and I'm so happy when you saw cats you thought of me. I love that. But do you qualify as a cat lady if you only have two cats? Yeah, because I love cats. We know you're crazy. <laughs> yeah, don't forget it either. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> All right, this next package comes from us from Yankee Candle. We'll see who it is from. I don't think Yankee knows I exist. That would be fun, though, wouldn't it? What? Yankee Candle. <gasps> Penny! Christina and Penny! Christina and Penny! Thank God you guys are on here. Yay! We Billy! Love. Yes. All right, let's see. Oh, it's a woodwick. Oh, it's a crackling one. <gasps> I'm so excited. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, it's so frosty. Oh, it smells good. What is the scent? It kind of smells like Christmas. Doesn't it kind of smell? It's a, it's a Christmas tree. Yeah. Isn't it? It doesn't say. She's not telling us. I don't know what it is, but I love it. It's not saying what it is, but it does smell exactly like a Christmas tree, and we love the crackling sound. Thank you so Christmas much, forest. Christina and Penny. Yes. Yeah. We shall do that one. This card comes to us from Texas, from Raquel. <gasps> Look how cute this is. It's like typed out on beautiful paper. Okay. Hi, it's Raquel and Alex from Texas. We are in an 18 year age gap relationship. He is 41 and I am 23 years old. We met in March, got together in August the 2nd, 2019 and got engaged in April of 2020. When my hubby and I started dating, I ran into your YouTube vlog. I had trouble with the looks and the judgment in the beginning. You inspired me that love conquers more than the negative. My hubby has three daughters, so when the day comes, I will come I will become a stepmother. I started to create a YouTube vlog too, also to support those who are in age gap relationships. I haven't seen an age gap relationship with stepkids in my age, so when I ran into your vlog, that made the negative become positive. Our YouTube vlog name is Raquel and Alex. Please follow me if you can. Your family is super cute and thank you for the support for age gap relationships. Can't wait for you to do more videos. Wish you a bunch of love. Hope and support on your trip to pregnancy. Yay. Well, thank you so much, Raquel and Alex. That's so sweet, and best of luck in your YouTube journey. It is a fun ride. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very detailed, all kinds of things I never knew. Yeah. Okay, so we have this, which is partially opened. It looks like it's from Love Pop MA, which is what? Massachusetts. Massachusetts. What would I do without you, babe? Mm. <laughs> all right. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's so pretty. I love it. Look what, the, oh my gosh, hold on, you guys. Oh, Lovepop.com backslash Disney. I love this card. Hello, Mindy, Larry, Lexi, and Luna. I hope this letter finds you well. I've been watching you guys for a long while now and your vlogs bring me lots of joy. I love watching them while I do homework. Anyways, I hope the baby journey goes swimmingly and you guys deserve a child that you can love and care for. Love you all. Fanny Tan from Texas sent you the HP makeup brushes, kitty, cr kitty crunches and fall mug and Larry Scooby-Doo shirt. Many hugs. Thank you so, so much. I love this card and 
your words are very, very kind. Thank you. Thank you. I'm gonna put her here. Put that over there. Yeah. This letter is from Colorado from Britt. Colorado. Colorado. We'll be visiting there very soon. Soon to be in Colorado. Very soon. Let me know if you guys are excited for Colorado vlogs. Gonna see some mountains and some elk. Hopefully elk. Hopefully elk. Okay, here's our card from Britt. Dear Mindy, Larry, Luna, and Lexi, a special wish, Mindy, happy birthday too. Hope this birthday and Halloween is very special. I'm so happy for you guys. Bye. Happy Halloween. Love, Britt. What month is Luna's birthday? You know, that's a great question. We don't actually know when her birthday is because we found her outside. She was a feral kitty. She was feral kitty. So we're not sure when she was born, but we're going to have to create a birthday for her. We got her in May, so we might just say her birthday's in May. And they didn't know exactly how old she was, maybe a year to two years old. So. And Britt also wanted to know what we are going to be for Halloween. Oh, what are we going to be for Halloween? Yeah. Ooh, stay tuned to find out. Yeah, I will. That's yeah. That's going to be a, it's a surprise. That's going to be a standby. Standby. So you guys will find out what we're going to be for Halloween. I will look much better in costume. No. Yes. No. On Halloween in the Halloween vlog. So stay tuned for that. Yes. This is from Indiana from Tilly. <gasps> I see Harry Potter. Harry Potter. Trivia Pursuit. Yay. Yeah, our neighbors, I walked out of the house and she was like, how are you doing? I said, I'm doing great. How are you? And she's like, good. She's like, it's almost Halloween. And I was like, ooh. <laughs> we went all out last year, the whole development. It was a lot of fun in our house, I'm not gonna lie. We, we made a statement. We were pretty, we were those people in the housing development. Mm -hmm. Not annoying, but we were definitely the fun well, ones. Well, we hope we weren't annoying. Well, you guys were all fun, too. Our neighbors were fun as well. But yeah. but they want to come hang out at our house. That's which, it. They're more than welcome. Yeah, I told her. I'm like, she can come hang out with us. But yes, Trivial Pursuit. I have yet to play this. That's cool that they package it in a, a pie-shaped thing like the original Trivial Pursuit. I don't see a letter in here on who it's from, but it is shipped from Tilly. So Tilly, if you sent this, thank you so, so much. Yes. Tilly, if this wasn't you and it's the manufacturer, then uh, let me know in the comments below who sent this and thank you. Next, we have a card from Victoria in Utah. I love that name, Victoria. I think Victoria is a very beautiful name. Oh, look at that card. Who's that card? <laughs> it's got little kitties on it. It does. You guys know I'm a cat mom, huh? All right, which one do I read first? Okay, this one, because it says I also. Look how beautiful the handwriting is. Very nice. All right. Mindy, Larry, and Kitties, I love your YouTube channel and adore watching each and every one of your videos. Y'all make me smile, remind me to be myself, and enjoy life. Yay. I love that. Mindy, I appreciate your raw, real, and genuine attitude. I always know that what we see is real and true. I find it so inspiring that you are not afraid to share the good and the bad. You are beautiful, inspiring, lovely, kind, smart, and fun. Oh, never stop being you. Yeah, what she said. Now you read this part because that's for you. Larry, you have such a beautiful eye for photography. Thank you. I love seeing your Instagram posts, and it's a way for me to experience nature in a new way. I also love learning from you. You are so knowledgeable on many subjects. I love learning something new every time you post. Lastly, thank you so much for the time you dedicated to your community and as your time as a police officer. That is a job not many can do, and I am truly grateful for those who serve and protect. Thank you so much. <laughs> so very kind. And to the kitties, girls, are you listening? Luna's gone. Lexi's outside. I'll tell them when they come in. My two killies. Killies. <laughs> My two kitties, Lily and is it Natsu? Say hello. Hi, kitties. And then on this note, we have I also wanted to tell you a little about myself. I am 26 from Utah, excited to be marrying the love of my life in May of 2021. I'm going to be wearing a black dress. I love that. I'm so proud of you. You know, do it differently. Do it fun. That's amazing. I wonder do if you're you. going to Yeah, do you boo, do you? I wonder if you're going to get married in, uh, in October. Wait, no, you just said May. Typical Mindy moment. <sighs> I am a Hufflepuff. I dance and write poetry and love museums and reading. I actually have a blog with all my poetry that I am currently compiling into a book. Nice. Ooh, very nice. That will hopefully be published someday. I Fingers use, crossed. Yeah, I use poetry to work through my anxiety and depression if you want to check it out. 
Uh, the link is vixyla.blogspot.com, I believe. I cannot say thank you enough and could go on for hours. You have helped me have the courage to start the new journey of finding out the cause of debilitating migraines that mm. I have had since age 11. I will stop rambling, but thank you for this amazing community you have created. Y'all are going to be the cutest parents. Much love, Victoria. Thank totally you. not rambling. It's okay. We love reading your letters, and I wish you all the luck with your poetry journey. That's amazing. Yes, and congratulations on getting married. And I also hope that you find out the reasons or can at least get relief and help mm. with your migraines, because I know they are they not are fun. Awful. Yeah. Next package is from Halen. Oh, Halen has been around since I think I have had... 500 subscribers i'm pretty sure maybe, maybe a since, thousand maybe since 30 subscribers <laughs> maybe who knows oh, i'm stuck in my sweater <sighs> i got stuck on the doorknob by the way walking into the bedroom literally looped my sweater into the are you scared of me again yeah you're are you hiding knife. you know what when have i ever aimed a knife at you not purposely <laughs> on purpose <laughs> Seriously, though, if y'all are going to open packages, be safe about it. <laughs> yes, kids, do not try this at home. Yeah, my dad always taught me, cut away from yourself, but I can't do it. Like, I literally can't do it. <laughs> I see friends! Well, it's a friend's box. Okay. Oh, dang it, I missed a spot. Hold on, Halen. Hold on, everybody. Well, I'll probably cut a bit of this footage out. Otherwise, this video is going to be very long. Yeah, she starts out very slow and, and meticulous, and then she turns into a Halloween movie. <gasps> oh, my gosh. It's the mother load. Look at this. Look at this. Shoot. I love how faded it looks. Sisters. That was fabulous. <laughs> I can't do it. Halen, thank you. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, there's a purple one. <gasps> look, look. What does it say? What does it say? In a world full of basic witches, be a Sanderson. Oh, shoot. Yes, I love that. <gasps> this one. This is it. This. It's hard to pick a favorite. It's really hard See to pick box. a favorite. <laughs> But can we just talk about the colors on this? Can we? Can we? We could, but I can't see it. <laughs> Sanderson Sisters, back from the dead. Oh, Sanderson Sisters Live, back from the dead. Yeah, I thought so. It totally looks like a concert t-shirt. Like, it's pretty bad. It's bad. It's bad. It's got binks on Billy. it. Billy. Billy's on there, too. October 31st, 1993, All Hallows Eve. Holy shiz. Okay, these shirts are incredible. Not sure where Halen got them. I'm assuming maybe, what's that store called? Maybe Etsy, maybe Amazon. I'm not really sure. Um, the tags inside say next level apparel on this one. This one says canvas, Bella canvas. And this one says, hold on. Also, Bella Canvas. So, I don't know. I look for Hocus Pocus shirts, guys. Oh my gosh, Halen, thank you so much. I love them. You guys understand. Hocus Pocus Queens. There's a lot of us out here. Mm -hmm. This letter is from Skyly in Texas. Oh long. my gosh, I remember these. It's been a long time since I've been in Texas. Aww. Skyly, you're so cute. Instagram, skyly.x. I think it's Loom. Mm. And then there's another postcard. Can you please check me out and maybe buy from me? Aw, you're so cute. Okay, so we have these adorable, I mean, I forget how old I was when these were popular. I think we were all in middle school or high school wearing these. Do you guys remember these? They were They're probably friendship still... bracelets? No, I don't no. think so. They're just like these rubber bands. They got really, really popular. Clearly, they are still popular. And look how cute they are. They just like go on. They just like go on. Ay, ay, ay. And then we have a adorable little kitty. Is it like a kitty dresser drawer or a kitty toaster? Let me see the toaster. And then we also have, oh, this reminds me of, I'm thinking a rose. It's also gonna say a balloon, but I think it's meant to be a rose. 
Thank you so much, Skyly. That was so sweet of you. All right. Next. We have a really cool envelope with a Dementor on it. I'm hoping you guys can see that. Dementor, Dementor. And this is from Kira from MO, Montana? Montana? Missouri? Seriously, guys, why don't I know my states? Pay attention in school, kids. Pay yeah. attention. You're not, you're not very good at geometry. What's Montana? Montana? This is just the cutest. Okay, from Kira, I hope you like this small gift, the Dementor's Queen. <gasps> this is so cool. Oh, I love it. <gasps> it's like a charm necklace, platform at nine and three quarters. It has the owl on it. What else? Ooh, Harry's glasses. We have the Hogwarts Express. Very nice. I love it. I think it is absolutely gorgeous. I will wear it. Shall we? Shall we? I love when charms make those noises. Oh, you can't even see it. Boo. Here we are. Okay. Thank you, Kira. Very nice. This is Melinda. Melinda from another Melinda. I know Melinda. We know Melinda. Melinda from North Carolina. And see, I knew that. Thank yes. goodness. She has, um, she has been with you for quite a while now. Yeah. I love you guys so much. What would we do without you guys? Please don't read on camera. Okay, I see it. I got it. Thank you, Melinda, for letting me know. Guys, make sure if you do not want me to read letters on camera, you do just as Melinda did and just write, please do not read on camera. I will save this for off camera and read it. Melinda, thank you so much for writing to us. Larry's taking a drink. <laughs> yeah, they, they fill these things right up to the top. So. Yeah, here's both my do not read. So I got them right here on my phone so I can read them once the camera goes off. Oh, this is from Canada, from Bryn. Hello, Mindy, Larry, Lexi, and Luna. I hope everyone is happy and healthy. I've been watching your videos for just about a year now and wanted to say a huge thank you. Your videos always brighten my day. They really helped me back in March when my university shut down due to COVID and I had to isolate in my apartment and write all my final, final papers alone. Ooh. That was probably not fun, but no. I'm so proud of you for writing your final papers. I'm currently completing my last year of university. I'm doing research for my chemistry hours. Honors. I live alone and have most of my classes online. Needless to say, it's a stressful time, but I always watch your videos with my morning coffee so I don't feel so alone. <laughs> that, that melts my heart. I feel like when I film the videos with Larry and we're doing our thing and you guys are sitting at home watching them, I really hope that you see us as friends and it's like you guys are right there with them because that's how we film them. That's why we are so honest and bring you guys along every step of the way and every journey that we have. Mm -hmm. So I, I just love reading that. That makes my day. It starts my day off with a positive feeling, which is great when my experiments go haywire like they do nine times out of ten. But that's just research research for you. In summary, I hope you realize what a far-reaching positive effect you guys have. You all deserve the best life has to offer, and it's truly amazing what you do for people. Thank best you. of luck on your fertility journey, and I hope Lexi and Luna become best pals soon. You and me both. Thank you. Fingers are crossed. Yeah. Bryn, P.S. If you hadn't already noticed, I'm heavily involved in academics and I get worried because all my friends have long-term boyfriends, girlfriends, and I don't. Do you have any advice on dating or how to meet someone? Are there any main lessons you guys have learned about being in a relationship? The idea of dating someone makes me really nervous. You two seem to be so well-suited for each other and so happy together. <laughs> that is excellent. Like, excellent question. Number one, I'm very proud of you for focusing on your school and academics. yes. And you don't have to worry about dating. Get that done, and I swear, I, I feel like maybe in your situation, you're probably going to meet somebody when you least expect it. I always yep. say don't go looking for a relationship. A You'll relationship never will find, find you. Well, I shouldn't say never. Yeah. But... I think once you've got your degree and your job and you're ready, you'll probably meet that special someone at your workplace. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about what all your friends are doing. Like all my friends, a lot of them, well, not all of them, but a good portion of them, people I went to high school with, they were having kids at 20, 21, 22, 23, and I wasn't. And that's okay. Everybody goes at their own pace. So keep doing what you're doing. Focus on your schoolwork and the rest will just fall into place after. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well said. Thank you. Thank you so much, Bryn, for writing to us. I love those freaking shirts. What's on my face? You got a bat in a cave. <laughs> Did I have a bat? 
<laughs> I just noticed it. <laughs> okay. Do I still have a bat in the cave? How am I? You're good. Okay. Larry made me aware that I had a bat in the cave. So if you guys saw my bat in the cave, I'm sorry. But such is life. We all get them. <laughs> we can leave that part out. <laughs> I think it's freaking funny. <laughs> And just in case they can see it, I'd rather know. <laughs> well, I'd rather tell them, you know? Yes. All right. That one got, got some water on it. Oh, I don't know who this is from. It doesn't say, but it is from South Carolina. Yeah. Oh, so cute. I love it. Warm and fuzzy wishes. So cute. For a fun and happy birthday, I hope you liked the shirts I sent you. Hope you have an amazing birthday. Love you. Love ya. Halen. <gasps> Halen, I loved them. Thank you so much. Also, this card is freaking cute. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This one is from Jay uh, from California. Yay. California. Read in private. Okay, I will read this in private. Again, I will be putting it right with these letters. Thank you so much for sending me a letter and writing private on it. Okay, we have... Britt from Colorado. Britt, you did say that we had another one. Oh, this is for mom and dad. No, it's for us. <gasps> Happy fourth wedding anniversary. Thank we had you. our wedding anniversary in September. Thank you so much, Britt. Happy wedding anniversary. Happy fourth wedding anniversary. Happy love. Happy wedding anniversary. Four years, Mindy and Larry. Have a good day. Love, Britt. Thank you Thank so you. much, Britt. That was cute. Mindy, Larry, Lexi, and Luna, thank you for always being you and for sharing your story with people. You help them in more ways than you think. The note explains how you've helped me and also explains the photos. You can read it on camera if you wish. Perhaps it will help someone else in the situation similar to mine. Thanks. From Carrie, P.S. The card is cute, right? Freaking so cute. Oh, it's a baby butterfly. It's a baby butterfly. That's adorable. Mindy, Larry, Lexi, and Luna, I am a fairly new subscriber. I found your videos in February, Welcome but I am writing this letter to let you know how much your videos have impacted my life in a positive way. I've had some pretty stressful years lately, practically since I started grad school in 2015 to obtain my PhD in chemistry. Wow. wow. Your videos helped me to de-stress in a way I had not experienced before, and for you to truly understand how much you have kept me calm, I feel that a little background on what I have experienced is necessary, so I apologize for the if this letter ends up being very long. No apology needed. Mm -mm. My stress began in my second year of grad school when I had to deal with being stalked slandered and harassed by a fellow grad student who could not accept that I simply wanted to be a friend. I informed my advisor of the situation, but nothing was done. I ended up having to threaten him with the proof of his harassment in the form of a document containing all the text messages he had sent um, me and an explanation of the situation to cause the text as background, as well as blocking him on all forms of social media, and he would leave me alone. This did not stop the death stares I would receive at work, however, which caused me to dread going to school. Mm -hmm. I discussed the situation with a lawyer, but I was informed that legally not much could be done unless he physically did something to me or continued to do something after I blocked him, told him to leave me alone. The lawyer did not say that I could probably sue the university, the university since nothing was done about the situation when I informed my superior. But I ultimately decided against this. I knew I would most likely never receive my degree if I sued the university, and it would also most likely result in other universities labeling me as trouble or problematic and refuse to admit to their programs because it is such a male-dominated environment in STEM, science, technology, engineering, so and math. and math. So I essentially had to grin and bear it until he left the school, which is never a fun thing to do, especially when adding to the stress of grad school in general. I lost a few friends because of the situation simply because they did not believe me or thought it was funny. Thankfully, he did end up, see that is your phone, he did end up leaving with his master's, so I had two years without him there, but the situation has definitely left its imprint on me. Unfortunately, this was just the tip of the iceberg of my stress. It was around the same time in my second year that my mother was diagnosed with a progressive lung disease called, mm. is it idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis, where scarring of the lung tissue occurs. There are some medications that slow the progression of the disease, but there is no cure. Most people live an average of three to five years after diagnosis unless they receive a lung transplant 
We were hopeful that she would receive the transplant, but this diagnosis only added to my stress as I attended school seven hours from home in a different state and I wanted to be there for her. My mother convinced me to remain at school because she knows how important it was to me. Time went on and we were all hopeful that she would receive her transplant even as her disease grew worse and she was on oxygen constantly. Unfortunately, last year in July, July, in my last year of grad school, my mother passed away after being in the ICU for two weeks. She never made the transplant list due to low-grade fever. They could not get her, get to go, get it to go away. She passed away exactly one week after her 55th birthday, which she spent unconscious in the hospital. I was able to take two weeks off school to be with my family and grieve, but then I had to return to school and finish what I started. I was so close to getting my PhD and I knew she would want me to persevere and see it through to the end. My sister was pregnant with my nephew at the time and the fact that my mother died not knowing her first grandchild only added to my family's sadness. Fast forward to February of this year where I was running my final experiments and attempting to write my Dissertation. dissertation when I discovered your videos on YouTube. I was able to put your video on in the background while writing and your stories were able to keep me calm through the stress, especially after I moved back home to finish my writing and prepare to defend my dissertation to my committee. Commit committee. Committee? Committee. Com committee. Sorry. By this time, COVID had hit full swing, and I suddenly had to change my plans to a remote virtual defense. Watching your videos gave me a sense of normality in this hectic, stressful time, and I just wanted to say thank you. You all kept me calm and hopeful that my life would soon be less stressful. I was able to successfully defend my, say that word for me? Dissertation. In April, and I officially received my PhD degree in May. Congratulations. Yay, good job. My father, sister, and I also took this time to get tattoos in memory of my mother to, to help our grief. My cat Slater and I still watch your videos. While I am now in the process of searching for a job, you still manage to keep me calm, relaxed, and I look forward to your videos. I know you are going through your own struggles, especially in your hopes for a baby, and I just want to say that no matter what hate you receive, to continue and to persevere as long as making your videos keep you happy. Sorry this ended up being a long letter, but I wanted to express my gratitude for keeping me sane in a stressful time. I am enclosing several photos so you can put a face to a name. I am enclosing a photo of myself, my cat, my mother, and our tattoos in memory of my mother. The colors represent each person involved in the situation when my mother passed. Blue is my mother, gray is my father, I am purple, my sister is orange, and my nephew, Jason, is the green heart inside the orange because she was pregnant when my mom passed. The dates are the years my mother was born and passed. Again, thank you for being there for me when I needed you. Sincerely, Carrie. Thank you so much for writing. I am so sorry you went through traumatic times. The one thing that frustrates me is abuse in any form in a workplace or at a school and it's not taken seriously. Yeah, until, you, oh, we'll, we'll do something after something terrible happens. Yeah, you shouldn't have to be physically assaulted by somebody for it to be warranted. Like, I... The, the system is so messed up with that. I am so sorry you had to go through that. And I'm so proud of you for pushing. And you still went to school. You got your degree. When it comes to your mom, I am so, so sorry. I could not imagine that pain. I'm so close to my mom. So losing her would just kill me. So I'm proud of you for pushing on. And congratulations for getting your degree. Well said. And thank you so much for writing to us. And mm -hmm. I loved reading your letter. And I hope that your letter helped a lot of other people out there as well. Okay, next, we have a box. This box is from Julia in North Dakota, ND. Today, as we're filming this birthday, it is actually the day before my birthday. So this is very appropriate. It is October 7th. Birthday card. Um, Mindy, happy birthday wishes for every happiness today, tomorrow, and always. With love, Julia. Thanks for always sharing your life and being real. I absolutely love being a minxy. Happy, happy birthday. I'm so glad you are in this world. Best of wishes also on yours and Larry's baby journey. I hope everything goes well. I am praying for you all and sending my love always. Thanks so much for being my friend. P.S. My Scentsy website is thegoodsmellingstuff.scentsy.us. Thank you, Julia. Thank you. Speaking of Scentsy. Oh my God, it's a nightmare before Christmas Scentsy thingy. <gasps> Hold on. 
Hold on, I have to get it all out. Look, a Jack Skellington Pumpkin King Scentsy Warmer. I like zero. Oh my gosh, this smells delicious. This is pumpkin chai. Ooh. Ooh, and the green one is Jack's Obsession. Oh, let's see what Jack's Obsession is. It looks like it would be like a lime or a melon, but I don't think it that would be Jack's Obsession. So let's see. Well, his first obsession was Christmas. Oh my God. Oh, it, I get it. Yes, smell it. I think that's Christmassy. Like a Christmas tree. Mm -hmm. That is brilliant. Plutsy brilliant. Thank you so much. And look at these stickers. Thank you, Julia. I can't wait to open it and use it. I'm going to open this next letter, which is from Rose from Washington. Hi, Rose. Happy birthday and the best always. Very cute. We also have a letter inside. A Starbucks gift card. Oh my goodness. Thank you. I know where you're going. Yeah, y'all know I'm Starbucks queen. Oh, we have to go to one in Colorado. Okay, so Mindy, I will say this feels very odd to be writing you. I feel like I know you and here you know nothing about me. So here's me. I'm a 30 year old stay at home mom of four, married 12 years to my high school sweetheart. I have no social media. I'm a busy mom with very little me time. So every few days, whenever you post, I say, okay kids, I'm taking my me time now <laughs> and got my tea and snacks and sit down to catch up with you and Larry. Then I go about my normal life routine until next time. So thanks for giving me my little brain breaks now and again. Okay, I gotta go take care of my precious little ones now. I can't wait till you, God willing, have yourselves a baby. My kids are my joy and my world. I have the most amazing, helpful husband, just like I know Larry will be for you. Much love, Rose. P.S. Happy early birthday. Enjoy a coffee on me. Very Aw, nice. Rose, thank you so much. I love your letter. That makes me smile, and I'm so glad you get some mommy me time. And I'm, I'm really honored, actually, that you spend it with me. So thank yeah. you so much, and Larry, <laughs> and our cats. <laughs> and then here is the Scentsy Burner. I like that it's white. Jack it's is very getting ceramic. a hug from Zero. Zero! Very cute. Okay, my booty hurts from mm. sitting on this chair. Next, we have a card from Kim in Missouri. We know Kim in Missouri. I learned, and I didn't say Montana, I said hi. Missouri. You're doing Lexi. better. Lexi, hi, baby. Lexi's here to say hi. Cute owl card. It says, somebody as special as you comes along once in a full moon. Have a happy Halloween. Mindy and Larry, happy Halloween. Trick or treat, smell my feet. Give me something good to eat, LOL. <laughs> Love your friends, Kim, Peyton, Madison, and Wayne. Thank you so much, guys. I love the card, and I have not Hello heard to everyone. that saying in such a long time. It's been a long time. Did you ever say, like, I honestly forgot about it. I'm so glad you said that because it reminded me of the good old days, so thank you. Okay, next we have a purple envelope. The writing has been washed off the top, so I don't know where it's from. I didn't do that. Or who it is from. No, um, it probably happens in route to get here, but we will soon find out. Ooh, lighting just massively changed. The sun went behind a cloud, I think. Mindy, Larry, Lexi, and Luna. Love watching your channel. We have three cats. Jigs, Jelly, and Peanuts. We love our fur babies. Wanted to send a note to wish you all the best with all wonderful things that are happening for you and Larry. My friend sells these nail strips on Facebook. I thought you might like to try them. Check out, I think it's Pink Flamingo Nails. Stay safe. Keep doing what you're doing. Love watching. Hugs. Your fan, Kim. Oh, you're going to be great parents. One lucky baby. Oh, that's so freaking nice. Thank you. And then here are the nails. They're so pretty. So we have this beautiful mauve colored nail. A tan or like a peach colored nail. <gasps> mauve again, like a purpley. Love that. White and pink. I bet you, you guys can hear this little one purring. You're so cute. Thank you so, so much. <laughs> All right, this next card is from our, oh, that's close to us, Florida. Mm -hmm. I don't like saying last names just in case you guys would hate for me to say the last name, so I will not do that. Oh my God, that's cute, look at this card, I love it. Okay. Oh my good, oh, the adult beverage store. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> I love it! 
<laughs> we have a gift for you for ABC. Perfect time of year for that because, and you don't know what I'm saying. ABC, it's like the joke that we do show, here. Show them the, the logo on the back. Oh, the logo on the back. So it's like ABC. It looks like building blocks. That's why we call yeah. it the adult When we first daycare. moved here, I thought it was actually a, a daycare center. Yeah. And it ended up being a spirit store. Accounting representative. Rape. <laughs> Tis the season for a few drinks before I get pregnant because once that happens, I won't be able to. No. You will. You will. I might. I won't. <laughs> okay. So let me read this letter. <gasps> so excited. Hi, Mindy. I recently found your YouTube channel and I am already a big fan. I also moved from Ohio, Columbus to Lando Lakes, Florida. Freaking A. You understand? They oh, H. Yeah. I O. See small world. I'm a 37 year old married mom with a four year old son. I tried to conceive him for over a year before the magic happened. The mm. stress of such a happy life changing time is tough at points along the journey. I know. I wanted to I wanted to commend you and Larry for sharing this fertility journey with the world. I will be sending good vibes your way. Thank you. I also sent you a DM on my Insta. Oh, but honestly, I know you probably get tons of messages on there and it will likely fall into the DM. Oh, the DM abyss, I think. I didn't see any evidence of your alcohol preferences in your social media and I know you will soon be trying to conceive, but I'm in the wine and spirits industry and wanted to give you a gift of some sort to just say thanks for the videos. The stereotypical boring mom, boring mom over in Lando Lakes loves them. Girl, I'm sure you're not boring. You're amazing. You're incredible. You are so grateful, graceful and eloquent. I can't even read. You are so graceful and eloquent and front of the camera. I just stumble on my words most of the time. So do I just did. So do I. But anyway, if you ever want or need alcohol related, I would be happy to help. It's my <laughs> only forte. I'm sure you have many fortes, but this is a great one too. Take care. Best wishes. Enjoy the gift card to ABC. I know exactly where it's at. We're like three minutes away. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thanks we've for reading. Yeah, we've been there. Thanks for reading. Thank you so much, Rachel. Yeah. I'm excited. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thank you. Happy Halloween. All right. Wishing you lots of fun and laughter, even though this year will be different than most. I hope you guys have a great time with family. Can't wait to see the Halloween vlog. Love, Halen. Thank you so much, Halen. Yeah, it is going to be a different sort of Halloween probably, but we're still going to have a blast no matter what we do. And I, I hope you guys do too. I will be looking a little bit different in my costume than I do, that I look oh like man. right here. You're funny. I was. I thought you were going to say last year. Last year's costumes were awesome now. Yeah, it was scary though. Some of the kids didn't like it. It was, yes, yeah, some of the kids were afraid of my dragon. If you guys don't know, I was Daenerys in Game of Thrones and Lair was the Night King. Kids were terrified of his Night King mask. And then if I was holding the candy and they would like reach down to get it, my dragon was sitting right on my shoulder and they would see it and go, <laughs> and they wouldn't grab the candy. And I'm like, oh no, it's okay. He's a friendly dragon. They, they still didn't yeah. buy it. That was funny. Oh, look at this. Oh, precious. Hey, Mindy, Larry, how are you both doing? Me and my boyfriend are doing good. How's the weather? Weather is freaking hot. Watching your videos, you and Larry make me laugh. I have a couple of coloring pics you both will like. I love watching the kitties. They're so cute. Little Lexi and little Luna. I was thinking maybe... When all this virus is over, maybe you and Larry could come visit me and my boyfriend here in Topeka. That would be so cool. We could get our picture taken, maybe. Go out to lunch or something. My boyfriend is getting me a Harry Potter purse for my birthday. Ooh, That's very fun. nice. My birthday is October 17th. Happy birthday. His is the 18th. You Happy guys are birthday, birthday twins. He, I'm going to be 32. He's going to be 50. If you want, you can look me up on Facebook under Jessica. I don't want to reveal your last name. If you want, I don't have a YouTube channel. I love your outfits. I love the clothes too. I love going clothes shopping. Me too. Clothes shopping is so fun. Um, I love Halloween and Christmas. Last year for Halloween, me and my boyfriend went out as NCIS agents. It was so cool. I got two pair of Harry Potter jogger, jogger PJ pants from Walmart, and I ordered a Harry Potter t-shirt. I tried to order one of your shirts. I got time on time when I got paid. Oh, but that's okay. You don't have to order the shirt. I'm sorry. Um, 
So maybe next year, what's your favorite kind of ice cream? Mine is plain strawberry and chocolate mint ice cream. Me and my boyfriend both love coffee. I get bad headache when I don't have caffeine. Mm. How's family, mom, grandpa, and brother doing? P.S. Love your biggest fan, Jessica. Thank you so much, Jessica. Our family is doing very good. <laughs> and favorite ice cream? Mint chocolate chip or peach? Mint chocolate chip or cookie dough. Ooh. No, no, I love cookie dough. Every time I order cookie dough, I get extra, 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 extra cookie dough. And I always say it like that too. Very dramatic. Mm. <gasps> this is so cute. It's Mindy and Larry. Cute dog. So sweet. I'm telling you guys, coloring is like the best thing to do. It honestly takes your mind off of everything that's going on in the world. And it's just so fun. Thank you so much for the therapy. lovely. Yeah. Thank you for the lovely pictures and, and the letters. Nice, you get a nice finished product when you're done. Yeah. Very true. This is from Maxine. Ooh. Soaps. I knew I could smell them through here. Oh my gosh. Yeah, they smell good. Look. Mmm. From Towel and Lather. T-O-W-E-L-L. Oh. How sweet. <laughs> I wish our cats would act like those two. Oh, I know. Hi, Mindy, Larry, and kitties. Hope you are all well. I am from North Wales, UK, and over in lockdown, I set up a new soap business, Towel and Lather Handmade Soap. I usually look after people's animals when they go on holiday, but as you can imagine, I have not been that busy. I have included three of our soaps. Hope you like them. We are loving your fall vlogs. Your family vlogs are my favorites. Keep doing what you are doing. Love Maxine and Charles. Socials Maxine. Thank you. Okay, so if you guys are interested in purchasing these soaps, it is Towel and Lather and T-O-W-E-L-L. -L. So that's awesome. Congrats on the soap business. That's amazing and I hope yeah, it goes I well. I think during the travel restrictions and the pandemic, yeah. there's not not a lot of people that are okay next we have an amazon package oh my gosh honey dukes honey dukes happy, that's your favorite yeah it is happy birthday mindy i hope you enjoy this gift from monica allison from monica allison from monica fun thank you look guys oopsies fizzing whizbies Oh, it's adorable. I love the colors it's also. It's got a little Ron Weasley on the back. It does. And I do know that this book is a scratch and sniff, so you can literally smell Ooh, the, the Hogwarts candies. candies. Here. Here's a chocolate frog. Yep. Oh, that's a peppermint toad. Yeah, it's peppermint toad. I love it. And it does smell just like a peppermint toad. I love this book. How colorful and cute is it? Thank you so much. M.O. Another M.O. Missouri. Mm -hmm. Guys, we have a lot of you out there in Missouri. That's awesome. I always find it interesting how like other states or even other countries, like how they find us, you know? Internet is an amazing thing. It brings us all together from all different places. Although we may speak in different tongues, and I don't know Dumbledore's exact quote. Although we may speak in different languages and different tongues, our hearts beat as one. That's right. I love that. There's some, there's some very good things that came out of Harry Potter. Yeah, there are a bunch of. I shouldn't point with my knife. No. There's a bunch of quotes on the wall. It does not do to dwell on dreams and forget to live is another one of them. <gasps> Speaking of Harry Potter, <gasps> oh, a skunk! <laughs> I like the little skunk guy. That is so cute. A skunk for the kitties. Thank you. I think. I think the skunk makes noise. That's adorable. Okay, dear Mindy and Larry, hi. I've been going back and forth on whether I should write this letter, but I feel like you guys need to know the impact your videos have on people's lives. Here's my story. On, oh, in July 2018, I found out I have never been able to have children. Mm -hmm. I was diagnosed with a rare condition and had to have surgery to correct it. Oh no. Today I was devastated is an understatement. I became very depressed, withdrawn from my family and friends, and even became suicidal. In my mind, I felt like I had let everyone down and that somehow it made me less of a woman. I struggle daily, I struggle daily with the urge to end my own life, but one day there was my saving grace. I was scrolling through YouTube. YouTube and your channel showed up. 
I like Harry Potter, so I watched. I binge watched all of your videos and realized for the first time I was at peace. I had a smile on my face and I was once again able to laugh. It felt good to finally be, a be back to myself. I owe it all to you. I can't thank you enough and hope one day we can meet in person so I can give you a proper thank you. Your number one fan, Tiffany. P.S. I included gifts for you and the kitties. I hope you enjoy. Oh my gosh, Tiffany. Thank you so much for your letter. Thank you for sharing such deep personal mm -hmm. stuff with us as well. And I hope that I was okay to read that on camera. And by me sharing this, I know it is going to help so many people. And I truly never realize sometimes how much of an impact we have on people's lives until I read letters like this and it blows my mind and I'm just so thankful that you're doing better and I'm very proud that you were able to realize that you had some severe things to be concerned about but you were able to along with time and, and medical science uh, and just finding something that made you happy and made you smile that you realized that you're worth it and you need to be around here. I just want to give you a big hug. I wish that you were standing in front of me so I could give you a big hug. Through the camera, this is me hugging you, Group giving hug. you a big, big hug. Thank you so much. So now I'm going to get teary eyed and try and <laughs> not cry. Uh, we are going to look at what is in the box. So this is so cute. <gasps> Sloth warts. Hanging Claw, Griffin Source, Snoozle, Puff, and Slotherin. <laughs> Look at this, guys. It is the cutest little thought. Floth. Floth. It sloth. is the cutest little sloth t shirt. Oh, it's just so sweet. That reminds me of the kitty t shirt. <gasps> Stop it right now. A Harry Potter collage, 1000 piece puzzle with all the covers of. Is it the books? Is it the books? It's the books. And like images from each of the books. This is gorgeous. Look at this. Just look at this. Oh, I love it. Thank you so much. Oh, I just, again, big hugs. This next package is to Mindy and Larry and Lexi and Luna too from Kimberly in New Jersey. We are in. All right, Kimberly, let's see what we have. Oh my goodness, I see a mug first of all, but we're gonna read the letter first. Hi. All right, we have, hi, hello there, Mindy, Larry, Lexi, and Luna. Hoping this finds you well. Love your videos. You inspire me every day. So glad I found you. I wanted to send you a few fall goodies. I hope you love them. Mindy, I really hope you love the fragrance. So warm and cozy for this time of year. It's my new favorite. Ooh, and then Larry. Larry, hope you like your tumbler. Of course, Mindy is the one with the kitty. Laugh out loud. <laughs> happy fall kimberly xoxo the kitty send love to is snooks. it witty snooks mama cat panther princess hops kaylin harley davidson the dog sends love to thank you so much kimberly and we, then we have a card we love doggies too we love all animals i was just telling larry one day I would like a doggy, but Lexi cannot even handle that. That is not happening for years and years and years to come. Oh my God, <laughs> this card. She's having a hard enough time with... Luna, yeah. It's Halloween with a kitty and a bat. Cat Dracula. You deserve a little Halloween fun, and I'm not kitten. Scare up some fun. Love you, biggest fan, Kim. Very nice. Dear Mindy, Larry, and Lexi, wishing you the spookiest, scariest Halloween. Thank you so much for the card. <gasps> oh, how nice. Kitty treats for the little babies. They'll love it. <gasps> love that. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I know what you're thinking. I see it and I know what you're thinking. But it's okay. That's okay. This is great because, okay. So, is it the same one? The Skeleton Pumpkin King. It is, right? It's I the same it one. Okay, so yes. here's the here's the thing with that. So, A, we can have two because you can never have too many in the house, right? So you have one in the bathroom and one in the other bathroom, so that is perfect. One in the kitchen, one in the yeah, living room. one in the kitchen, one in the living room. It all works out. I love it. One I in love one it. One bedroom, one in the other bedroom. Exactly. So I hope you weren't panicking like I panicked at first. My mind no. switched, and here we are. Yay! <laughs> we love it. Okay, this is. This is the lid now on the floor. The lid just flew off. 
Okay, so we have Creepin' It Real with cats. Love that. And then Larry, this Kitty is yours. And snakes. I promise and... I won't take it. Oh, yes. I pr I'll probably take it too. See, I like all those people that say, here's how you eat candy corn. Throw it in the trash. Open how the terrible. package, pour it into a bowl, and then dump it in the garbage. No, I like candy corn. So thank you. This is a scent from Philosophy. That was so kind. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Fresh cream, warm cashmere. Oh, I'm 100% going to love this. 100%, okay, let me in. I'm very excited. Ooh. Oh, you won't be a fan. I'm a fan. Vanilla? Yeah. Okay, we were talking about the scent. The camera SD card was full, but I love this scent. 100% recommend if you guys are working, working? No. If you guys are looking for a warm, cozy scent, this is delicious. You can get it at Ulta. Different scents. Okay, this one's the same Jack Obsession, but we have Halloween Town, which I don't think was in the other one. So, ooh, that's incredible. I like that one. Check me out. I love that. That is so cute. <laughs> and I had to say it like that. Check me out. Do it meow. Do it meow. Right meow. Thank you so, so much. I love everything and I cannot wait. Oh boy. Can you grab that, babe? I've got it. To give the kitties their treats. They also say thank you. This one is from Catherine Katie in New Hampshire. This is one of those times when saying thank you doesn't seem like enough. Oh, that card's so cute. Thank you, 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 thank you. How's that? I love that. Thank you, Katie. To Mindy, Larry, Lexi, and Luna, I wanted to send you guys this to say thank you for your videos. I've been watching them all. They make me happy and laughing all the time. I love you guys. You and Larry are so cute together. Best couple I have ever seen. I love your family, your dad. Your dad's food looks so good every time your dad makes. P.S. I love you guys and send my love to your family. Thank you so much, Katie. Katie, you're welcome and thank you for that. watching. Sudoku! Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. I am terrible at Sudoku. Well. You know what? That's not really fair. I don't apply myself. If I practiced, if I tried, I'd probably be okay with it. Time for you to practice. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. <laughs> and then we also have one more package. Another puzzle. Yay. Yay. Oh, we could do these for Halloween. I love this one too. Oh, 500 piece flying key. Love. Love. We have to find out who the artist was on yeah. that. Mary Grand Prix has gone on to illustrate covers for six Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Oh, wait, no, I read that wrong. Okay, hold on. The images from New York Puzzle Company's line of Harry Potter jigsaw puzzles date back to 1997, the year when artist Mary Grand Prix was chosen to illustrate the original USA hardcover edition of J.K. Rowling's Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Since then, Mary Grand Prix has gone to illustrate covers for six more Harry Potter books and design a whole range of artwork depicting scenes from within the Harry Potter books. Collect the entire range of puzzles and piece together the story of Harry Potter one image at a time. Well, I need all of them. <laughs> time no I mean look at them all they're beautiful guys look how many there are can you see it oh they're so gorgeous this is crazy oh there's a Christmas scene oh there's a Christmas at Hogwarts scene too okay time to start puzzles let us know in the comments below if you want us to do puzzles in the vlogs again it's been a minute a little cookie treat for Lexi and Luna from Monica Allison oh Monica Yay. Allison thank you so much wellness kitty cat treats uh -oh. How cute. Oh, so we have chicken and cranberry recipe. We have salmon and cranberry, and we also have tuna and cranberry. Yay, thank you. The kitties will love them, and thank you for thinking of them as well. Mm -hmm. This next package is from California, from Euron, I believe. I'm so sorry if I'm mispronouncing your name. A Disneyland puzzle. Cool, look at this card. It has all the Harry Potter stickers on it. Each day brings a new reason to be grateful. Thank you for being so wonderful. Oh. My name is Yuran. I know it's hard to pronounce. It's an uh, Armenian name. I've been a follower for a long time and I absolutely love your YouTube channel. I bought this puzzle for myself and realized that you guys would probably love it too. And I hope that you do. We love it. Thank you. I just wanted to say thank you, Mindy, for being so real and honest. You're so relatable and your videos are ones I never miss. 
and I always look forward to. You actually inspired me to start my own YouTube channel, which is something I should have done five years ago. I have that same, that same thought. I named the channel, is it Cheekly Happy? C-H-I-C-L-Y Happy because I loved the spin on the words and it's a feeling that I always want to emulate. I wanted to wish you all the luck in the world for your baby journey. Whatever is meant to be will be and I hope you guys are happy every step of the way. Love, you're on. Happy Hall- ooh, wait. Halloween movies that are a must. Sleepy Hollow with Johnny Depp, Dracula with Gary Oldman, The Mummy, the 1932 and 1999 versions. Ooh, yay. I have The Mummies. Gary Oldman, you know who that is. Yeah, I love Gary Oldman. I don't, I don't think I've seen that one. I've seen is. Sleepy Hollow though. Mm -hmm. This puzzle, oh um, my gosh, is, is it gonna be, this is gonna be interesting. Is this the, is that the Sleepy Hollow that has Uncle Vernon in it? Oh, maybe. This puzzle is going to be difficult. Look at that. That'll keep us busy for a while. Yes, it Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's the Honey Duke's purse. Oh, Honey my Duke's gosh. Purse. Yeah. Happy birthday, Mindy. I saw this and knew you would love it. From Monica Allison. Monica, Yay, Monica. Allison. You, like, really outdid yourself. There are two gifts from me. Hopefully, you got both of them from Monica. Oh, wow, Monica. Thank you so much. We have, and I have eyeballed this many a times at Universal Studios. This is the lounge fly bag. Actually, I think it's their makeup bag. This is cute. Oh my gosh. Okay, sorry, I'm getting really I loud and fly. really excited. Okay, so we have the makeup bag and then you also have like, you could use it as a makeup bag or you could use it as a little wallet to stick in your purse. This is freaking cute. Thank you so much. I absolutely love it. Dream a little birthday dream. This is so sweet. And may your dream come true. Wishing lots of love and laughter on your birthday. Hope you like everything. Kelly. Thank you so much, Kelly. <gasps> oh, I love this. I love this. I love this. Oh my God. I love this. <laughs> it's a, like, it's the, it's a tree. It's like a Halloween tree and it has Oogie Boogie on it. I think it's, um, um, Nightmare Before Christmas inspired. Yeah, look at Jack Skellington, the pumpkins on the tree. This is the tree that dances. It's, oh my gosh. Yeah. If you guys haven't seen the Nightmare Before Christmas, please do. There's the, there's the little guy that you, um. He scares me, seriously. Yeah, you don't like the. The three siblings. Yeah. Oogie Boogie's kids, they scare the no, crap the, out of me. they're his nephews, aren't they? I don't know. Oh, this is also made by Canva, Canvas, Bella Canvas. Well, they're killing it with the shirts. Oh, it's a Sanderson sister shirt. <gasps> Sanderson Sister Brewing Co. Premium Witches Brew. Since 17. I mean, I think you guys know me. Like, you know me. You know me. I'm just going to leave it at that. Oh, no. Since 1693. I'm so excited to wear these. I'm so excited. Thank you so much. And I think we have a Sanderson Sister mug. I can see their hair. I can see their hair. I can oh, see oh. Their hair. <laughs> oh, look. Another glorious morning makes me sick. <laughs> I love it. This is perfect. Thank you so much. <gasps> Mickey Mouse. Mickey. Cute. Mindy and Larry, your channel brings me so much joy. I saw these mugs and thought they could be perfect for you two. You are great cat parents and will make great parents to a baby. God bless Tiffany. Thank you so much, Tiffany. It's very sweet. Have you seen it? Look how cute they are. Oh, I like that. <laughs> so cute. Cat mom and cat dad. Yeah, if you go to Hobby Lobby, Christmas is already here. Thank you, Tiffany. I love them. Well, everybody, that includes everything in this P.O. Box opening. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, from the bottom of our hearts, we want to thank each and every one of you for taking the time to watch this video, also to send all of these goodies. It means the world to us. Thank you for the very touching letters as well. Larry, would you like to add anything? Cards, letters, pictures. Oh, I love, love them all. Yeah. Thank you so much, guys. We love you so much. Don't forget to leave a comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you can get notified every time Larry and I upload. And we will see you again very soon. Thank you. Bye. Bye.